Hello every- <coughs> Excuse me. Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil. In the last episode we... Um... Saw... Richard, was it? And he needed... Some... Vaccination because he was bitten by something. And we done that, we got it to him. And in this episode we're... We could deal with what that was, but I'm gonna keep exploring. Hold on, what's my health like? Oh, red caution. So we'll, we'll just keep exploring around this area because I sort of want to get everywhere before dealing with something annoying. You're most certainly not dead, but I'll leave you there. I'm with. Okay, let's check these doors. Open. He also could have turned into a crimson head there, which wouldn't be fun. Especially with this health. Nope, there's a shiny. Yeah, okay. No, this... This could have been used to get the normal shotgun. But because Barry came and saved the day, we were okay. Sure, let's just... And that's if you want to burn the zombies, which I really should be doing, but I'm not for some reason. Maybe I want to make this harder on myself and make myself deal with crimson heads. Who knows? We have battery pack. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, yes. I might go back to the item room. For one, I want to get the lighter and actually start using stuff. And two, we can use something there. But I can't remember what it is you get. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna put a couple of things back in. No, I'll leave the shotgun just to be safe. We're gonna get one free slot. Okay, so let's finally use this. What are you talking about? Are you trying to tell me that won't turn into a crimson head? 
Oh, okay then. Do I just need kerosene? Okay, that's on unlimited resource, so I'll need to be a bit careful. I just want to use it once. <laughs> uh. Oh crap, didn't realize that would hurt. <laughs> Okay, so that's one that we won't have to deal with turning into a crimson head. Jill, please. Tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Yellow? Okay now. And we get shotgun shells. Could have sworn I was red. I need to free up my inventory. Oh, I thought we could open that. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and uh, Elias from security <coughs> and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but uh, I think he was cheating, scumbag. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were, were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs, pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. <laughs> At around 5am, Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there had been an accident in the basement lab. I knew something like this would happen. Those bastards didn't research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing my damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me s funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw him. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up, I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. <coughs> then I realized that uh, some of them had escaped. Maybe this was their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anyone finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My, my entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all, all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off me. What the hell is happening to me? Fever gone but itchy. 
today hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy Scott came ugly face so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. I see. There's nothing else, sir. I really just used the shot on the free up inventory. <laughs> Okay, so what do we have in here? Oh, you're still alive. A battery pack. Yep, I'm going. Uh, let's see if we actually got everything in there. We did. Okay. Can we open the door from this side? Yep. Just the shortcuts and stuff. I see your shadow. Okay, I know what we need to do here. Nothing happened. <laughs> Let's try red. Okay, this is something we can do now, so I might as well get this done. Rem Hold on, wait, did we actually ever pick it up? We might not have. I actually don't think we did. Uh, that's annoying. And we didn't. Great. Um, okay, if you saw the couple of episodes of this that went up with our commentary, um, we got a chemical on one of the balconies outside and I was hoping that we still had it okay let's see what's this way <laughs> This may be a quicker way to get there. Hold on, man. It's not, but I'm confused where it is. I actually should have burnt that guy because from what I remember he 
he turns into a crimson head really quickly. Hmm. I'm, I'm trying to remember where this chemical is. Hold on. Okay, I think I know where it is, but we're gonna have to take a long route to get there. But... <coughs> Instead of doing that, we might try and open the doors that we haven't opened yet. Never mind, we still need one more key. I'm running for it. No, gel. Gel. Running for it. <laughs> Was it in here? Yes, it was. <laughs> Come on, inventory. Okay, and just oh, whoops. And just pick up this to be safe. Okay, now you may be thinking like you should really save one inventory slot open. I could have left that red herb there, but we're gonna use the chemical, so that will free up a slot. And there's a um, there's gonna be I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Ignore me. <laughs> Once we use this chemical, we'll end this episode off. We still have to do that clock puzzle, but we'll do that in a bit.
Nope, wrong place. Wait, what did we open the door for there? No. Was it this one? Yes, it was. Did we ever go in? This is where we need to go. <laughs> no, it's not. Jill, stop getting caught on corners. Okay, and here we can use this. Of course, don't even take it out of the bag, just throw the whole thing in. But anyway, that's going to be us for now, so thank you all for watching, and in the next one we will continue exploring, I guess. Until then. <laughs>